Hello everyone, Adventure494 here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can totally ditch your keyboard to control your avionics in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Okay, I found a, a nifty little software or actually a freeware called Touch Portal and I use that to control avionics or anything that you can create a keyboard shortcut for in Microsoft Flight Simulator you can control using your iPad or even your smartphone. Let me just show it to you. Let's head on over to touchportal.com. So what is Touch Portal? Touch Portal is actually a, a replacement uh, for your keyboard shortcuts. So what you can do is you can create keyboard shortcuts and uh, put them onto your phone. And you can use the touch feature for you to represent any keyboard shortcuts. It's usually used for things like uh, OBS and Streamlabs, Premiere Pro, Photoshop. But uh, I found out that you can also use it for Microsoft Flash Simulator. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So you can create keyboard shortcuts. You can use on OBS, Streamlabs, Twitter, Twitch, XSplit. I'm using it actually for uh, video editing and also photo editing. So it gives, uh, makes things go faster or more productive when you're doing it instead of uh, using your keyboard shortcuts. I'm sure none of us can remember every keyboard shortcut there is in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, but uh, this can make it make your life a bit easy by using uh, just touching on your screen to invoke certain commands. So all you need to do is you just go up to download. You need to download for the Windows or if you're using a Mac, you can download for the Mac. It works on the Android and also the iOS phones. You also have tutorials. So if you wanna go and look at some tutorials on how to use Touch Portal. So I'm gonna show you how you can use for Microsoft Flash Simulator today. So be sure to download the desktop based softwares and also the one you have to download into your device, which is either the iPad or your iPhone or even your Android devices. So let's uh, open up Touch Portal and show you how to do it. So this is Touch Portal. As you see, I've created some buttons over here. It connects to your devices wirelessly. You can see this is connected to my iOS device, which is my iPad. Okay, I've created some buttons which I normally use in Flight Simulator, which it's hard for me to reach to my keyboard and, and uh, click or find the keyboard shortcuts for it. So let me show you to you how I do it from scratch. To create a new page, you can go up to new. You just type in a page name. Let's call it Microsoft Flight Simulator. In my case, I make it two because I already have one. I'm gonna press okay. And now you've got a blank screen. If you just scroll your mouse or scrub your mouse, you can see that there's a lot of places you can put in your buttons. I'm gonna drag the to go main will be here. To go main means you're just gonna go back to your main main page okay there's always going to be a main page where you can assign a shortcut to the other pages so i'm going to go back to msfs2 so let's say you want to create a button for your landing gear for some reason it doesn't matter what it is you can do it for everything so i'm just going to do a simple one so i'm going to click on here so let's maximize that here are your aesthetics for the buttons you can control what you want to say about a button let's say call it uh just call it gear yeah or you can call it landing gear I'm going to give it a color. So I'm going to come up to this background color area over here. Let's give it a nice red color. Since I'm going to make it into a gradient, let's make it a nice gradient. I'm going to swap the color so they look a lighter to a darker color. You can even change the icon if you wish. If you click on the change icon, you can see that they come with the icon packs. You can start using all this stuff or you can even create your own using Photoshop and or any other software. So there's none that's available here for simulator stuff or any aviation stuff. I'm going to cancel that. I'm just going to use a transparent background or disable that so we can get a red color. So it's called gear there. So you can just change to whatever you want. Here is what happens when you click on the button, right? So here are all the operations that you can do. So you can do a couple of things like you can even run a software, you can run an application, you can run a batch file, okay, so on and so forth and navigate to another page. The one that we're going to use is actually the virtual key press. We all know that the keyboard shortcut for uh, raising your landing gear is G and also, you know, bringing it down or extending your gears is G. So I'm going to click on virtual key press and I'm going to say here, use G for the gear. I'm going to press add. So now the keyboard shortcut gear has been assigned to this button. Feel free to explore the rest of the stuff here because it's a very, very powerful software. You can do a lot of logic stuff as well, if then else kind of stuff. Okay, you can make it into a toggle button. Look at the tutorial that's there in the web page, so you can get an understanding of how all this works. Okay, I'm, I I keep mine very simple. 
as I just want to use as a, a T keyboard toggle because I hate to have a keyboard in front of me. It's kind of a large device, so I'd rather have a small little iPhone or my iPad in front of me. So I've assigned the virtual key press to the gear icon. I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now we have the gear icon there. Maybe I should also make another one, or maybe such thing as a switching on the strobes or something so we can see it in Microsoft Flash Meta that it works or not. We all know the keyboard shortcut for strobe is going to be, I'm going to just put strobe here, S-T-R-O-B-E. Let's keep it a nice, uh, I'm to uncheck transparent background okay, because we want, it, we want the background to have a color. So click on the background color here. Let's give it something like a strobe will probably be an orange color. And then let's give something lighter to give it that nice gradient look. So I'm going to just swap it around. I like to have the lighter color on top rather than the bottom. And I'm going to press full screen. So let's assign a, a keyboard shortcut for stroke. So we all know the keyboard shortcut for stroke is O on your keyboard. And press add. Let's save that. Okay, so now we have two keyboard shortcuts, gear and stroke. You can go on and put more as you like. But if you purchase this software for 13 US dollars, you can have unlimited pages like what I have here. I'm building up slowly. Uh, up to 152, I think, buttons in one page. So that's kind of a lot. You can do a lot of stuff. Let me show you what I've done as an example. So I use After Effects. So this is After Effects keyboard shortcut. By the way, this one is all downloadable for free. You can assign the keyboard shortcuts with the nice images and all that kind of stuff. We also have one for Photoshop, which also available for free. And I've also used one for Premiere Pro, which I do for video editing. This is the one that I created for Microsoft Flash Meter over the last few days. Autopilot on off, you know, you got uh, enable your nav mode, your heading select. You can even add and minus your heading selection. Uh, flight director on, virtual, uh, sorry, vertical speed and your uh, flight level change on, your flaps. All this I use on a regular basis, so I've created a keyboard shortcut for it. ATC is to enable the panel, and then the choices that we choose in ATC has all been um, binded into this button. So if I want to choose choice number one, I'm going to click on this button over here. We've got strokes and lights and everything, and we've got flaps. So you can put more, but uh, this is how it works. There's actually a link for my version of the pages that I would like to share with you. So download it, use it, and uh, play around with it and change it as you like. Okay, It's available in the description below. If you have something that you want to share, that you, you have done something even better than mine, you probably put images at the back there. But you can put images at the back there if you want to. I just maintain mine as just colors for now. Uh, let's go into Microsoft Flash Meta now and play with all this stuff. I'll show you a quick video of what, how I set it up in front of me. Right, so as you can see that uh, I have my iPad sitting on honeycomb control here. So here we are in the Cessna Caravan. You can see the engine is already started up. I'm going to tap on my iPad here. I've got a stroke of stroke, Lexi lights, landings and all that. Yeah. So I'll click on the uh, taxi light on off. Okay. okay, have a look at this. Yeah, that's taxi light. And I've got my landing lights, enable them. Uh, beacon, yeah, on and off. And if you can see that I have um, altitude over here so I'm going to use my I've created one for altitude which is uh, the plus and minus so if I just use the plus to increase the altitude you can see that I can do that and I can go minus and let's switch on the autopilot on and off yeah, so that's the autopilot button. So it works. Uh, it all depends on how you configure your key bindings or your keyboard shortcut. So I hope this video has helped you in, uh, you know, taking that guy out of your equation and you replacing it with your iPhone or even your iPad and putting all these keyboard shortcuts. Please leave your comments if you think that this has helped you in any way uh, to encourage me to make more videos for you guys. And uh, happy flying!